Hi friends, welcome to Zeal to Know. This is Sharon and we were discussing about the guidelines on ICD-10 CM, which is one of the courses in CPG Medical Coding. Okay, so we'll discuss one by one. I have already given two chapters, one in two, but by mistakenly I have given fifth chapter also. So today we will be covering three and four. Three does not have any guidelines. The third guidelines or third chapter is for the future expansion. So today we will be discussing about the, yes, fourth chapter because I was mistakenly given fifth chapter, fourth chapter I am uploading now only. All right. So we will be continuing with the session. What is the name? What is the topic which we are going to study? That is endocrine, nutritional and metabolic di diseases. So in this chapter mainly we will be concentrating on one topic. That is our first topic which is called diabetes mellitus or we can say simply diabetes. Okay. Diabetes is a metabolic disease. Okay. It is a me metabolic disease. Everyone knows about diabetes nowadays. Or one out of 10 or one out of five may have diabetes nowadays. So it is a most commonly occurring disease. So here, what are the two types of diabetes we should think of? Diabetes mellitus comes under the codes E, okay, E10 to E13. These codes we use for DM. All right, E for echo. The first topic will be the diabetes mellitus itself, but what are the types? The most common two types of diabetes are type 1 and type 2. What is about the type 1? Yes, type 1 is also called juvenile diabetes. Clear? Type 1 is also called a juvenile diabetes. It has the chances of occurring as a congenital one. Congenital we cannot say from the early stage. Okay, from the early age of a patient it is it may be occurring. Okay, so there will be need of insulin more and like most of the patient in type 1 cases are insulin dependent. Now type 2. Type 2 is also a chronic disease but it may occur lately. Okay so some of the like some of the insulin may be produced by the body and other other can be we can be supplied through we can make it supplied through oral hypoglycemics or insulin. So they can both depend on oral as well as the insulin injections. All right. So these are the two types of diabetes. So these two types we can say for type 1 E10 will be the code echo 10. E10 will be the code and type 2 E11. Is it clear? All right. Next we will move to pointing out some of the cases okay some of the cases where uh, we code what all things should be coded what all code should be given as sequence all right so what is the first condition the first condition is type of the dm is not documented okay if the provider or the doctor is not documenting anything about the type of the condition as default we can say it is a type 2 diabetes clear okay if the documentation does not provide a clear idea about the type of the patient we can assume it as type 2 as default okay keep it always in mind so in elimination method while we do the questions it will be easier for you to yeah take out what all things are not there so old one out thing okay so next thing is I have already discussed the oral hypoglycemics as well as the use of insulin. If these two are the conditions, how the code comes or the how the sequencing comes. All right. The first one, if the patient came with diabetes mellitus and uses insulin or we can say long term use of insulin. So what will be the case? I have already discussed. Okay, the patient is having 
type 2 diabetes okay so type 2 diabetes is e11 so e11 is coded first and second we should code the use of long term use of insulin so for that we have the code from the category z79 okay so z79.4 is for the long term use of insulin while z79.84 is a long term use of oral hypoglycemic clear so two codes we have studied z79.4 for the insulin long term use okay and for z79.84 for the oral glycemics this comes as a additional code first we have to code the dm and second we have what is the type of dm and second we have to code whether they are insulin dependent or oral hypoglycemic dependent clear okay we have already discussed long term use we will use long term use of insulin we will use z79.4 but if a condition comes like if a patient comes as an emergency because of the high blood sugar and the doctor administers insulin to just reduce the high sugar levels okay for that purpose if the patient is coming you cannot use that there the patient is insulin dependent okay for just that moment or that some of the days for just reducing that emergency condition doctor has administered the insulin so in this case we will not be coding any z79.44 that code okay just remember it just a close all right okay the next topic will be gestational diabetes or diabetes in pregnancy but today we will not be discussing that because in chapter 15 we'll be discussing it very clearly so today it is not mandatory to discuss in this chapter because it comes under chapter 15 o codes so we will be discussing it later on okay so now what we will discuss now we have the next topic which is a complication due to Uh, the use of insulin pump yeah in foreign countries and all insulin pump is very popular they'll just keep the pump because very small children and all if they are having the dm so if they have the um, use or they have to use the insulin for their lifetime they'll use an insulin pump yes so for that purpose because it will administer correctly whatever level of insulin they are having depending upon that the insulin pump will administer yes so it will be very easier don't take it and every time taking it differently but insulin pump adjusts itself and takes it very clearly so it is very easy easy to use and very easy to administer so insulin pumps are used for that purpose all right we don't know the purpose of the insulin pump but the complication caused due to insulin pump that's a very big concern so here in this guidelines we'll be discussing about what are things we have to remember while using the while having complications by using the insulin pump clear so what is that the first one is the underdose okay underdose of insulin due to insulin pump malfunction yes if there is a malfunction then only the, some underdose or overdose will occur so first we'll be discussing the underdose so in underdose we have to code two codes that's the first one is t85.6 category code which will say the mechanical complication of other specified internal and external prosthetic devices implants and graft okay it just gives the first code will give the mechanical malfunction code okay now the second comes it is a additional code additional code is t38.3x1 which will say the poisoning by insulin and oral hypoglycemic drugs accidental okay then it will be there so there are two codes actually the first code is for the insulin pump malfunction and the second code will be for the yes underdose if something like type of the uh, type of the this one is given type of the dm is given additional code for the type of dm clear now if the insulin pump malfunction underdose comes just remember 
primary code will be the malfunction of the insulin pump secondary will be yes secondary will be the code for oral hypoglycemic or poisoning poisoning by so the poisoning code will come and third additional code for the type of the dm specified okay so next so we have already discussed the underdose now we'll discuss the overdose overdose of insulin due to insulin pump malfunction here also we'll be having the same guidelines going on the first one for the malfunction which is the t85.6 category code and second will be t38.3 x1 the same code for the poisoning and third will be the type of the uh, type of the dm is there any difference no there is no difference at all for underdose as well as overdose we have the three things arranged the primary will be the malfunction secondary will be the oral uh, poisoning by oral hypoglycemics or insulin and third will be the type of the dm of the patient okay so overdose underdose don't confuse the same guidelines is applicable and the same codes all right the next important topic is the secondary diabetes mellitus what is the secondary condition secondary condition means due to something that diabetes has occurred due to some reason due to some diseases due to some defect the diabetes mellitus has occurred for the patient yes for example pancreatectomy if the pancreas is not present insulin is not able to produce yes so in that case dm is occurred if there is a malignant neoplasm of pancreas it may occur cystic fibrosis then some adverse effect of some poisoning everything may cause this secondary diabetes mellitus all right we have three codes i'll tell you one by one e08 is a dm due to underlying condition e09 drug or chemical induced dm and e13 very rarely used e13 is for other specified dm what is other specified dm doctor has specified but it is not available in the book so other specified dm clear next topic is secondary dm and use of oral hypoglycemics or insulin so here what we have discussed in primary dm or the normal dm same conditions or the same uh, type of codes occur okay the first word or the first code will be the type of dm the second second code will be what second code will be from the category z79 we have already discussed if the long term use of insulin is there z79.4 if a long term use of oral hypoglycemics is there then z79.84 same condition okay there is no change for the secondary secondary dm okay next so now we will discuss two important points in assigning and sequencing of secondary dm and its causes okay so for that the first condition is secondary diabetes due to pancreatectomy pancreatectomy means pancreas is not present okay it is absent in that case how the sequencing occur the first or the primary one is e89.1 which is the post procedural hypoglycemia okay next the secondary will be e13 dm dm post pancreatectomy and the third one will be z79.4 category or z79.41 we can say the acquired absence of pancreas clear so there will be three codes sequenced if the pancreatectomy occurs or the secondary diabetes how we are going to sequence it it's an example only for adverse effects and poisoning we'll go to chapter 90 when we go to the chapter 19 it is very clearly mentioned in chapter 19 so we'll be discussing that later on okay so here 
goes or here ends our chapter so this chapter is having a limited guidelines but repeated guidelines yes now you can just think about it just write it somewhere and by heart it because just remember only some things to remember first one is type of diabetes should be mentioned the second thing is underdose overdose of insulin pump malfunction same same codes so we don't have any confusions then for primary as well as secondary diabetes what are the cases but the cases are almost the similar but secondary means it is due to some other cause or some underlying condition the dm of course this is the only difference between these two clear so this is a very good chapter and very easy chapter to learn i hope you like this video you enjoyed this video uh, this medical coding is very like it is a very nice subject to study if you like it okay so go through the medical terminologies if you are not familiar with medical uh, terms because you are not from a medical background if you are from a medical background the these terminologies will be very easier if you find anything very difficult or somewhere you need somewhere you are stuck out just come to the comment box give me the uh, give me the query i'll solve as soon as possible all right so if you like this video just give me a like and share my video with your friends needy ones and subscribe our channel and please the bell button don't forget the bell button because bell button gives you the notifications first all right so you can put bell button and all thanks for watching zeal to know bye bye see see you in the next video